Hello everybody out there in TV land. Hey, it's another exciting episode. This time uh, along the lines of what I'd like to call the Skunk Creek Chronicles. And uh, I want to call this video and title it uh, The Man in the Arena Part 2. I didn't elaborate on Teddy Roosevelt's uh, famous speech the last time. I just uh, mentioned it. But it's, you know, it's been a very powerful speech for me and and uh, the words I think about a lot so I'd like to uh, pan away to a quiet little scene here and then I just want to read it and uh, let you enjoy it it is not the critic who counts nor the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who, who neither know victory nor defeat. Anyway, you know, the words are poetic, and um, those words right there when he says, it caught my attention as I was putting this together of how, he's, how he strings along is marred by dust and sweat and blood. You know, and he, and he says that in a, he enunciates those words dust and sweat and blood. It's, uh, it's a poetic way of saying that. And uh, it kind of reminded me of Churchill's, uh, Winston Churchill's speech. Uh, and maybe I'll go into that one on another video. But for right now, thanks for listening. That's Teddy Roosevelt, the man in the arena. Did that about 1910, I think it was April of 1910. Anyway, uh, oh, and another thing, too. I was reading through that, and he says, the man in the arena, the man band. You know what he refers to there. That's all of us, mankind, humans. So uh, that's how people talked in those days. At any rate, that's enough for now. Thanks.